Well, hello again, Pokey people. Lovely to see you. So it is Friday, August the 3rd, here in Japan, and as many of us know, the first Friday of every month is Pokeka no Hi, or Pokemon Card Day, because new sets come out, and that means Fairy Rise is here. Whoop! There it is, in all of its glorious beauty. Look at this beautiful box. Oh, who have we got over here? Sceptile, I think, or is that Grovile? I get them confused. I'm going to get a lot of names wrong. Dendene, Tapu Fini. Over on the other side, we got a Vespa Queen, Gardevoir, and I always get Ninkata, Ninkask, and them confused. But it's a cicada, the husk of a cicada. But before we open that up, I have to show you this. Whoop. Because Mimikyu is one of the most amazing parts of this new set, I went ahead and got this Mimikyu promo, which somehow has already got dust on it, which is why I put everything in a sleeve. This you had to buy a magazine to get, and well, it's a Mimikyu promo, and it's fantastic! Yay! Um, there doesn't appear to be a set promo this time around, I just got my box at the Pokémon Center, and I didn't see any signage about it, they didn't give me one, so I think there's no set promo this time. So let's just crack right into this thing. Because the faster I get done filming, yay, the faster I can get this film, this film, this video edited and exporting. Can I even get this box open? Oh, there we go. Oh, are you ready? This is always the most fun part with new set day. Da 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 da. <gasps> Look at those beautiful packs. Oh. Okay, let's just get them out. <laughs> we need to do this with some degree of efficiency so that I can get this video to you guys relatively quickly. So, I already don't know which is the left and the right hand side. Let's do one of these though for a moment. Ooh, appreciate the pack art. Isn't it beautiful? So pink and blue and just, oh, I love it. But you know what we're gonna do? Because it worked so well with the last box I opened, we're gonna shuffle, kind of, blah. Okay, that didn't go so well. <laughs> We're just going to mix them all up in there. So there's no left-hand side conspiracy happening. It doesn't matter what came from where. Blah, 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 blah. They're all mixed up now. Okay, and you know what? I'm just going to make two piles that you can't even see, and I'm just going to start opening them, and we'll see what we get. So here we go. SM7B Fairy Rise, my first box. I am super duper excited. Of course, I really, really want Mimikyu, but getting the full art Ninetales would be fantastic, and both of the trainers are amazing. So, our very first pack, we have a Fairy Charm for fighting. Um, I don't know exactly how these work, but I know that if you attach it to your Pokémon, it prevents some damage from GX and EX Pokémon of that type. I don't know if it's every time, but... Oh! <gasps> it's the Kecleon! I'm sorry, but the charms. I don't know exactly how much damage it protects you from. I'm not good with the gameplay stuff. Um, we have another... As you can see, Oyama art of Kecleon. There are three of these. At the end, I'll try to remember to get all three Kecleons side by side for you, because it's fantastic. Um, Kombi. Lampert? Lampent? Lampent sounds about right. And our first holo is Tapu Lele. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, she just keeps getting the best card treatments. Like, they just really, really love Tapu Lele. Oh, she's beautiful. Funny thing, I guess because this set was coming out, um, Tapu Leles have gone up in value. So I thought I did quite well when I sold three Tapu Leles, just the regular GXs, for 2,800 yen each. And now I'm seeing some places offering over 3,000 yen for them, and I'm like, darn it! But at the time, it was the best decision to make. Alright, I think this is Grovile. I think. Oh, look at the Curlia, so cute! I want to stop and appreciate everything, but we, we, we gotta go. We gotta have some uh, speed here. Um, I always get them wrong. I know they're based on cicadas, but, uh, Tekanin in Japanese. So I guess that would be Ninkata, because he's got Nin in his name, like Ninja. We have our Ralphs, and we've got a Noroi no Ofuda. So this is spell tag, but Noroi actually means curse in Japanese, and an Ofuda is like a charm or an amulet, usually used for protecting things, so it's like a cursed charm. So I thought the fact that it's translated as spell tag is quite interesting. I imagine it's kind of like how Harry Potter titles got translated differently. Like, it's the Sorcerer's Stone, but it became the Philosopher's Stone. Just one of those things. I imagine somebody was like, no, no, curse, that's that's too witchcrafty. Um, Cofragus, I think? I don't know. <gasps> yummy yummy! Sableye! I love him so much, he's such a cutie. Hey, maybe Ninkata. 
Ninkata, Ninkata, I don't know, Pudding, Jigglypuff, that's some good old Kensugi Mori art. Hey, and we've got Morty, whose name I know just because everyone's been sharing news about the full art card. Both the full art trainers in the set are insane! Speaking of which, they also released some Mina sleeves today, and I will have to pick those up and show them right after this pack, since I mentioned them, and I'll probably forget later on if I get excited about other things. <gasps> Meloetta! Oh, that is beautiful! Oh my goodness, the artwork! <gasps> I just want to stop and appreciate everything, but we gotta, we gotta have some efficiency. Yay! <laughs> Tangela with balls of yarn! Once again, Ken Sugimori art just placed on a random background, but I'm a knitter, so I love it. And we got a Gardevoir Hollow! Oh, so beautiful! I love that there's so many fairy types in this set. Like, fairy type is one of the newer types. I don't know if it's the new West, but it is newer, right? So, there doesn't seem to be enough fairy cards. Oh, yes, the sleeves. Before I forget, ta-da! Isn't that adorable? Oh, love them so much! These kind of things, whenever it's like a cute female character, or not even just like cute, like Cynthia's not cute, Cynthia's gorgeous, she's a beautiful lady, a lovely lady, but whenever it's like a cute female artwork on sleeves or on a full art card, they just vanish so fast in Japan. I don't know if it works the same in other countries. There she is, speak of the devil, she's so cute. Oh, I love that she's an artist. Uh, Vespa Queen, um, Boken no Kaban, all right. It's, it's a bag. <laughs> Kaban means bag. Pudin! And Kofregis. There's some, I can't help it. Jigglypuff's name in Japanese being Pudin just makes me so happy because it's basically pudding. He is a pudding. A little round pudding. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. What are we going to get in this one? Look at my camera. It's already like seven minutes. I'm like, no, no. Um, I, I always get the different butterflies wrong. It's not pavilion. That's okay, we'll figure it out later. Oh, Yama! Kecleon! He goes in his own special pile. Uh, maybe Lampent? Cutie Fly. Oh, oh, okay, it's just a hollow. I saw the edge and was like, oh, 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 Cutie Fly! And we have a Giratina. Oh, that is some beautiful artwork, too. Who's this artist? Hasuno. That is amazing. I might need to pay a little more attention to Hasuno. I still need to buy a binder just to put cards specific to certain artists from. So I'll obviously have an Oyama spot and a Sekio spot. And who's the other one I've been holding on to? Shibuzo. I love their stuff, but maybe I need to be watching Hasuno too. I know there are like a few artists that are very, very popular. Obviously, Mitsuhiro Arita is one of the most popular and the most iconic, but to try and collect all of his cards would be very, very expensive. All right, we have Meloetta again. She's just beautiful. Shinotic. Um, maybe Ninkata. It's just going to keep haunting me because I don't know his name. And Sableye, Yami Rami. And this is a fairy charm for psychic types. So these are going to be really interesting. I'm obviously not going to get to use them until they come out in English and then I can play with them online. But, you know, the fact that it's something you can attach to your fairy types to make them stronger is very exciting. And I already really like the fairy deck that I have online to begin with. I don't think it's made very well, but I like it. It's got all my faves in it. Um, Pukurin, Wigglytuff. It's very cute artwork, too. This, who's this artist? Nagi, Nagimiso. I might have to keep an eye on them, too. There's just a lot of really nice art in this set. Of course, Yukomori's clay figures are fantastic. Um, we got a Wormpole, and we have another fairy charm for fighting type. Did I shuffle it really well again? I don't know. We haven't hit a GX yet, and only three hollows, but that's okay, because I like, you know, getting the excitement amped up towards the end. That's the best kind of feel. All right, let's see how we do here. Hey, it's you. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it ends with something to do with it being a castaway, like it's the cask, the husk. Um, Kimori, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Not septile. Something grovile septile. I will think of it later. Um, we have a bag again, a silcoon, and another fairy charm. I'm just grabbing packs willy-nilly over here. I think shuffling might be my new thing. This certainly seems to make for a bit more interesting video, in my opinion at least. Let me know what you guys think. I will, of course, try to keep the super rare card till the very, very end because I enjoy that kind of excitement. Hey, Carbink, right? That's his name, right? Oh! Shaman and it's Sekio! <gasps> it's a Sekio Shaman! <gasps> She's so cute! Oh my 
goodness, I love Shaman. It's just so cute. Oh, don't you just want to, like, give her all the treats? All the treats, all the pats, all the rubs. If she wants a tummy rub, she gets it. If she wants a golden toilet, she gets it. Whatever Shaman wants, you better give it to her because she is so cute. So cute that she will melt you. You will die if you don't give her what she wants because then she won't leave and the cuteness will kill you because that's how things work around here. This is a maybe a grow file. Oh, I don't know your name. Desmas. Wow. <laughs> the Japanese Desmas. I mean, that just sounds like death mask to me. Um, wow, that's quite a name. We have a little nymph-looking guy. I'm not good with my insect terminology. Uh, Morlul. Ooh, and our first GX is Sigilith, right? That's its name, right? Pretty sure it's Sigilith. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, and that's Planeta again. Nice to see a little more Planeta art sneaking its way in. The five-band ones are nice, but it's just nice to see variety, you know? Very cool. Obviously not one of the ones that I'm quite as attached to since we didn't really pause on it that much, but we're also hunting on a time limit here. Kind of. I mean, I'm already seeing over 11 minutes on my camera, and I've been talking nonstop, so I don't think we're going to be able to make many cuts. That's okay. Morty! More lol! Something that becomes a cicada. A little bit of shenotic. Wigglytuff, otherwise known as Pukurin. Trying to keep some degree of a pace here. Oof. Probably be faster if I just cut the tops off everything at the beginning. I used to do that in the past, but um, trying to do the thing where you speed up. That's a tangrowth, by the way. Where you speed it up on my computer seems to like almost always result. <gasps> Another shaman! She gets a sleeve! Um, almost always seems to cause some pixelation issues and it makes exporting the video longer. And I know I could like cut and cut them, but. I just, I just want to open them and I want to talk to you guys and it might not be the most efficient way, but it's, it's the way that works for me, the way that I enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying it too. I also hope the noise of my fan in the background isn't too obnoxious. <laughs> I got home and turned the AC on and it's not working fast enough. Ooh, Prism Star, Fairy Forest, no, Life Forest. I just saw the Fs, the Foos, and immediately thought something else. Prism Star, nice. Ooh, that is very nice. The other prism star in this set is Xerneas, I believe. But yeah, what was I saying? The AC wasn't working fast enough, so I've got a fan on one side of me and the air conditioning on the other, and it might be providing some um, white noise in the background, and I apologize if you can hear it and it annoys you. It's also entirely possible we're going to get interrupted by a doorbell at any minute because I have an Amazon delivery coming today. Cutie fly, Tangela, Kecleon! Ooh! That is fantastic! Oh, look at that chandelure! What? Holy cow, that artwork is amazing! I think that just blew my mind more than any full art. Like, wow, that is gorgeous! I'm so used to it being fire type, but obviously it's ghost, so it can be psychic, and that just looks amazing! Oh, wow! And one of my very good friends loves the chandelier line, and I hope I get a duplicate so I can give him one. Even though he doesn't collect the cards, I know he would love to have one of these chandeliers. Wouldn't you, Kevin? I'm going to see Kevin tomorrow, so hopefully I get a duplicate and I can give him one. <laughs> because it would be real awkward if I didn't. And be like, hey, brah, I was talking about you in my video. Rabombi! And I was going to bring you something, but then I didn't pull one. And I didn't want to give you the first one that I pulled because I am a greedy, greedy bastard. Anyways, I think we're about halfway through now, and we still have two more GXs and a super rare card to go. <gasps> I love when this happens and everything comes towards the end. More lol, I really like the colors on this too. Oh, I just want to stop and appreciate everything. Trico, that's his name, right? Pretty sure. Because he's Kimori, and Mori would be from like Yamori, like Gecko. Um, that's a Tangrowth. My brain just broke. Yeah, in Japan, there are these super cute little geckos called Yamori. Ya being house, and Mori being protector. So they're house protectors, and it's considered very good luck if you have some Yamori, or these little house geckos, living around your house. So since... Ah! Oh my goodness, it's the amazingly cute artwork. Oh, I love it so much. This was one I saw it leaked online. I lost my mind. It's so cute. You just know she's going like... Pouncing into that snow, face first. <gasps> Denene with yarn, which appeals to all my knitting needs. Oh, I love it. Should I just 
try to collect all the cards that have yarn in them. Like, not necessarily the amigurumi ones, but like actually somebody was knitting. Like, there's a knitting needle up there. I think that would be a really cute and fitting collection for me. Vespa Queen and a Meloetta. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. I have these two stacks on either side, and we've got two GXs and a super rare card in them. I think we've got about 10 packs left. Oh, we're making pretty good time. I see the 15 minute mark has been hit. Okay, let's keep going. What are you guys most excited for in this set? I'm also realizing, I think it's all been fairy, plant, and psychic types, right? I found that really interesting with some of these newer sets, how they've done that, where the typing in the set is limited. What have we got here? Oh, Tapu Fini. Oh, she's also beautiful. Like, this set's going to look amazing in a binder just because of the colors. But it's been really cool the way that they've been doing that. So this set is limited to just three types, plus normal, obviously. If normal counts as a type, does it? I guess it does. I mean, it is considered a type, even though they don't have their own energy. That's okay. They're still special. All right, how are we doing here? Um, you, who is not Vavillian, what is your name? Oh, I'll think of it later. Ooh, speaking of Amigurumi ones, we've got this very cute little... Um, Litwick, there we go, that's its name. <laughs> Carbink, Wormpole, and oh, another Tapu Fini. Whoa, well, we're gonna put a sleeve on her anyways, just because why not? I remembered to buy sleeves beforehand this time so I can sleeve everything, just because I can sleeve all the things. Sleeves for days. Obviously, before I put everything in a binder, I do sleeve every card, like even the uncommons and commons, because I wanna keep a nice minty fresh set in my binder. We have another Noroi Ofura, Carbink, Litwick, I don't know why I need to do it with the names, Curlia, and Wigglyta, Fukurin. He just looks so shocked. <laughs> I wonder, like, you know there's that really angry looking Shibuzo Pukurin, um, Wigglytuff card? I feel like they're on opposite ends of a conversation. Like, the other one's really angry and this one's just like, whoa, why are you getting so mad, bruh? It was just a prank, man. Just a prank. And the other Wigglytuff's like, dude, I am going to end you. And then they went and had drinks and forgot all about it. Because that's how that story ends. <laughs> Rib no, cutie fly, not Ribombi. Mm, some kind of cicada? And another Gardevoir. These are just amazing. There is a lot of beautiful artwork in this set. I am very excited to do the second box and really, like, slow down and give you guys glamour shots of everything because it doesn't feel right rushing and not really stopping to appreciate them. But the first box, I feel like we do have to speed it up just a little bit, just so we can get through everything, and you can see the new set as soon as possible. We have a netball! Dun -dun -dun! So cute! Oh, yes! We got two of them! That goes over here, so I can go in the little Vulpix binder. Oh, oh, oh! We have a GX behind here. <gasps> oh, she's beautiful! <gasps> Look at that Alola Ninetales GX. Oh, oh, that is a stunner. <gasps> and this is five band graphics. Guys, you did an amazing job on this one. <gasps> she is beautiful. Oh, oh, and we got the hollow in the eye as per usual. <gasps> Just stop and look at that beautiful card. Oh, my goodness. I want like 25 of them. I don't know why 25. 16 is what I need. No, 12 is what fits in a binder page. But, you know, 25 is just a nice number. Oh, she's amazing. Okay, we gotta put her down for the moment. The little stand's getting quite full back there. We have seven packs left. <gasps> Lucky number seven. So, of course, if we got Mimi Q as our third GX, then this would be a perfect box in my books. But it is possible we'll get Septile. And that's okay. I would accept that. Because, obviously, I'm going to buy another box and we'll get Mimi Q one way or another. Hi, Tangrowth. What's going on? I still love the same. Muljambo. <laughs> Certain words in Japanese, like Muljambo, just, like, crack me right up. I think it's kind of, like, tangly mess. It's one of those onomatopoetic words, if onomatopoetic is even a real word, but it's onomatopoeia. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't even spell onomatopoeia, but I like saying it. <gasps> we have a fairy charm! Oh my goodness, we're down to the last five packs, guys. Only five more. Only five more! Okay, let's see. One of these has the super rare card in it. Wouldn't it be cool if I'd managed to shuffle them so that the super rare cards last again? I would be quite proud of myself if I managed that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Twice in a row! Okay, you! Who's the husk the thing came from? Silcoon! Another Kecleon! Sweet deal! Ralt! Oh! Oh! Okay. Our super rare card's behind this one. I'm gonna put it down. And we're gonna keep going with the other packs. Because we want that to be last. And I saw the bottom, and I'm super duper excited. But there's a 1 in 4 chance that it is what I really, 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 really want. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. We got this beautiful butterfly, a Litwick, Wormpool, a Lollipopix, another one! And another Tapu Lele! This box has been fantastic! We're just getting all the fairies and the Alolans. Oh, goodness! Three packs left! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I really want to get to the super rare card. Oh, hi, there's Morty. And what's your name? Uh, Trico. A little involving again! A uh, Jigglypuff. And we got Mimi QGX! Oh my god, as far as I'm concerned, this box is perfect. Obviously, we still need one Prism Star and one GX. Uh, you can't get the full set in a box, but we got Mimi Q! <gasps> Look at how beautiful it is. He's just so happy in a field full of flowers. I love the detail. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, just two more packs. Two more packs and then we get to see what the amazing final card is. And then I think I might do a slower recap of all the fantastic pulls. We got a girl vial who wasn't even in focus. <laughs> more lulls. Silcoon, uh, Shenotic, and a dragon type fairy charm. Last pack. We don't need last pack magic. We'd take it if we get it, but we don't need it because I think we've already pulled as many hollows as you can possibly pull. All right, let's see here. We got a Rabombi, Trico, um, you, Death Mask. I'm just going to call you that. Vespa Queen and a fairy charm fighting type. Okay. Are you guys excited? Are you excited? Are you hyped? Are you ready? Okay, let's carefully pick these two up. <gasps> All right, so hiding behind this Ralts is our super rare card. It could be a Sigilith, it could be a Sceptile, it could be an Alolan Ninetales or a Mimikyu. That's the only hint you're getting right now. What do you think it is? Leave your vote in the comments down below, because I'm going to reveal it in three, two, one. It's Sceptile! <laughs> Of course, I was really hoping for Q or Ninetales, but that is still very, very cool. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Look at the texture and everything. And he's the only GX we didn't get, right? Yeah, we still need the regular GX of him, so that actually works out quite well. Oh, that is very cool. Ooh, look at that texture in the back. That is so cool. Ooh, and the green eye. I like it. That's a nice touch. <gasps> we got a hyper rare in our first box! It's recap time! So, obviously we doubled up on hollows quite a bit, but that's okay. That's expected in a box. We got two shamans. One, two. Looking so cute! Oh, love that artwork. A beautiful Giratina. I didn't even stop. Oh, that's Hasuno! Ooh, okay, yeah, I definitely need to watch Hasuno. Love that art. Or did I look at that one? Was it the Hasuno art I commented on before? I know I love the chandelier art. It is amazing. So that's four hollows there. We got two Gardevoirs. We got two Tapu Leles. And we got two Tapu Finis. It's just a Tapu party over here. So we got our ten hollows. Our one Prism Star is the amazing... Life Forest, very, very beautiful. And our three GXs. We got Sigilith GX, who is pretty darn cool. Mimi Q, who I was very excited about. And the amazingly beautiful Alolan Ninetales. <gasps> From what I saw online this morning, the Alolan Ninetales are the most expensive cards in the set. So it's definitely the one you want to be pulling. I don't know if I want to be selling them if I get them, though. I think I want to make a binder page with them because I need 25 of them. Remember that, 25, that's the number. <laughs> Our hyper rare rainbow septile. Ooh, let's just do a little glamour of him. Oh, that is amazing. Such a nice card. 
Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it doesn't take a million years to export, because it's a long one, as usual, on the first day of a new set. So, I hope to see you again very, very soon, because I need to stop filming and edit and upload and blah, 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 blah. See you soon. Thank you. Love you. Bye. You thought I forgot, didn't you? But it's a Kecleon party. So we have unit color one, Kecleon, unit color two, Kecleon, and unit color three, Kecleon. Ta-da! I feel like there's a story happening here, and I love them. That's some fantastic Oyama art, though, for you. Number one, two, and three. Do-do-do-do-do-do, Kecleon!